today I want to talk about the arresting of Governor Songo of the county of Nairobi. Yes, there it is, Governor Songo in his full uniform, but indeed also uniformed people are arresting him. Indeed, for me, Governor Songo's arrest is a dark cloud for Kenya's devolution if governors can be arrested in that manner. But wait a minute. For me again, that is, there is a silver lining in that arrest. What do I mean by a silver lining? Of course, it's the idiom. Every cloud has a silver lining. So what is my silver lining in this arrest? It has confirmed some teachings that my own grandma used to teach us via fairy tales in the evenings, which always carried some morals. Now, let me sample and translate some of those uh, sayings, which are actually universal. Here are some translations of, of them. In my language, we'll say, Sivala Engara, meaning what goes round comes around. In other words, if someone treats other people badly, someone else will also treat him or her badly. And you can see from that source, what are they saying? What does that source say? It poses a question, what does what goes round comes round mean? And the answer is, what you are getting out of life is a desired result, is a direct result of what you are putting in. Sometimes engineers, IT people say, cabbage in, cabbage out, but that's not exactly what I'm talking about. So that's one. What goes round comes around. The next saying, Mpanda Ngazi Hushuka. That's a Swahili saying, or I've translated that into Swahili, which simply means, He who climbs a ladder will descend it. Pride goes before a fall. What goes up must come down. That's some lesson that I've learned from this arrest. The third one. Mpikangumi ukuta huumiza mkonowe. He who hits a wall will only hurt his hand. They also add Mwanzo wango manilele, the sign of the start of a dance is a noise. Or before a fight, there is a quarrel. One voice will be joined by others. These are some of the lessons that I'm reading from the arrest. And these are morals that I was being we have been taught through those fake tales. The arrest has also reminded me about two of the very popular songs during the 2018 campaigns in this country. One was by Amos Barasa 
vindu vichenjanga vindu vichenjanga another one was about ben kidae wembe ni ule ule those were very popular songs vindu vichenjanga wembe ni ule ule this arrest has also made me remind i mean has reminded me about those songs I am further reminded about Senator Rongo's speech. Let me read it. He said, Sometimes revolutions eat their own children. Governments eat their own people. And this government is going to punish you more than they will punish me. I am telling you, in another one year, you will be crying in my office for me to come and represent you. I know, I can tell. That was those prophetic words from Senator Rengo when it was Jubilee at ODM. Jubilee and opposition. And that is, those are the wise words from Senator Orengo. This arrest makes me remember them very well. So then, what are the lessons that I've learned? Or what are the morals that I've been reminded about? Here are a few lessons then from the Governor Songo arrest case. What goes around comes around. I remember when Governor Songo was still a senator, was pointing fingers at the then Governor Kidero. Those are not my words. It was reported that the Dale Nation, when Kidero was being accused of presiding over massive craft. That was Songo pointing fingers at Kidero. Today, it is the DPP Hatch now pointing the same fingers not at Kidero, but now at Songo. Ordering Songo to be arrested because of the same craft that Songo accused Kidero of. What goes around comes around. You do unto others what you expect them to do unto you. Songo had good times. Watch with the president. Look, very good times. Those were Songo's good times. Eating Yamachoma, eating the kiosks eating houses, having a very close ear for the president. Look, those were the good times of Songo. Indeed, very good times. There they are, very good times. And now, the now times, Songo with a torn t-shirt, What the message? The message we are seeing, or I learn, is in Pandangasi, Hushuka. Or the Barasa saying, sing a song, Vindu Vichenjanga. I'm learning those lessons from this arrest. Look. Then, Songo could hold a whole Kayole demolition just after a call to the president. You know, he holds Kayole demolition after a phone to President Uhuru. Again, it's reported, you can see it. That was then. Now, Songo was in fact heckled. 
at the DBI launch, DBI report launch. In fact, the masses were unhappy. And the president was unhappy. Again, that the song. The Induvichan Changa. Those are the lessons that I'm learning from the arrest. Mpikangumi Ukuta. Umizam Konoe. Yes. Can see Songo in full gloves. Those again were the good times when you could wear gloves and maybe shadow boxing. Then he is accusing the EACC of crapping land, promising that he's going to deal with the EACE. Nukuta. And then the EAC hits back. Look. The EAC thinks Songo belongs back to Shimola Tewa. Alikwana Pikangumi. Ukuta. Now. Let's look at this. Songo as a governor has Ascaris. And this is how they arrest people. Look, those are Ascaris. Those are hawkers. Look at that lady. Look at how they bundle the hawkers. Those are Songo's Ascaris. Look. And now Song himself is arrested. In a very similar way. If not worse. So. Wembe ni ule ule. But the big lesson here we are, we are learning here is that. Never resist arrest. For me. Songo must have added a few other counts on what he was being arrested for. One, using abusive language. Two, resisting arrest. And probably hurting the police officer. So the message is clear. Let us not resist arrest. So these are some of the lessons that I've learned from Songo's arrest. And these are some of the lessons that I was taught by my own grandma in those fairy tales. I'm hoping that we have learned something from it. Not that I support brutal arrests. I started by condemning it. But those are the lessons that I think I have learned from this. I hope you have also learned it. Thank you.